when I paint in the back of the center panel, I'm getting some paint on my brush. I just want to put the paint on there. I'm not worried about brush strokes. I just want to get the paint to totally cover that back there. Don't really care what it looks like at this point. Just get it in the crease. Once I get it covered, I'm going to take the rag, starting with the dry half of the rag first, and start wiping it back. Now for this look, I want it to have a vertical bias, so I'm going to be just wiping up and down with the rag, taking almost all the paint off. And in the process of doing this, you're going to get some vertical streaks, and you're going to have a little bit darker here and there, lighter here and there which is good because that's overall the look that I'm going for. So I'm just going to wipe it back, leave some of the darker streaks there, and I'll try to get them all out. Just make sure you get the bulk of it off. Kind of fine-tune it a little bit there. You can see darker there, darker there, dark in the crease all the way around. Just want to leave that in there. Then when I'm at this point, I'm going to go to the damp half of the rag, and I'm going to really fine-tune it with that. Once you get the hang of this, you'll be surprised at the thin, thin film you can leave on the existing paint job. You could, at this point, wipe it all off and just be back to square one, but I don't want to do that. I want to have just a thin film over there. So I'm going to take with the damp part and just wipe it off a little bit. It's, it's almost like you're using an eraser to erase a pencil mark. You have that much control over it. 